CataractCoach.com. Challenging FACO plus DMEC case solved using manual graph centration. And a guest surgeon is Professor Dr. Martin Dirisamer, and I have learned so much about DMEC from watching his videos. This is a patient who's had prior LASIK and has a cataract and needs an endothelial transplant. So here at the beginning is just scoring Decimase layer using that reverse Sinsky hook through a paracentesis, and Dr. Dirisamer makes it look easy. Starting off the cataract surgery now. Doing a capsular rexus here. Now in these eyes, don't make an overly large capsular rexus. You want to have about a 5 millimeter capsular rexus at maximum, maybe even 4.5 millimeters in diameter. And that's because you really want the capsular rexus to hold the eye well optic in position. A little light hydro dissection going on here. And the nucleus removal is going to be using the chop technique. Now you see, all advanced surgeons are using the chop technique, something you definitely want to learn. So he just has a little chop here, splits the nucleus in half, rotates it again, breaks into smaller fragments. That's the easy part. So we won't bore you too much with just showing you the cataract surgery because the interesting part here is the management of the DMEC graft. And it's a very interesting technique here. Now, you know, Dr. Darius Amor has come up with the techniques that we use very routinely to open up our grafts. His technique for unrolling a graft is genius. And so I'm a big fan of it, and I've been learning DMEC over the last couple of years, and I think we've got a pretty good grasp on it here. So he's finishing up the cataract surgery. There's the last bit of the cataract coming out. Notice the safe position of that chopper to protect the posterior capsule. You certainly don't want to have an issue of a broken or ruptured posterior capsule in a setting of, of this case where you're going to have to do a DMEC as well. So by manual cortex removal here with the IA probes, and that's going to go pretty smoothly. Now, the graft, of course, is the most important part of this procedure here. And the challenge in this case, of course, is lens calculations to begin with, but then also positioning of the graft. So in a post-LASIK eye, even without any corneal issues, we know that the lens calculations are different. And now if we add DSEC or DMEC on top of that, we know we have to aim even a little more for post-op myopia. A little bit uh, more forgiving with DMEC, but for DSEC certainly more. There is the filling of the capsular bag, nice beautiful capsular rexus, and then the eye wells going right in the capsular bag. Nice to put in this four haptic or plate haptic style lens because it really stays in the capsular bag. It may stay in the capsule bag a little bit better than our traditional two-piece or uh, haptic design. There's the air bubble going inside the eye now. Remember, Decimase was already scored. And now, using that Sinsky to peel off the Decime layer. So Decimetorexis. And he makes it look very easy. Now, the challenge here, of course, is if you don't pivot in that incision beautifully, you'll lose the air and the whole thing will shallow. But obviously... Martin has some incredible skills here, and he makes it look just so easy. There it is, removed from the eye, just like that, like one, two, three. Here's the graft in the injector, going to be placed inside the eye here. So nice and easy. Now, once you get it inside the eye here, close that incision and make sure you flatten that anterior chamber. You want a very flat anterior chamber and you don't want to have that graft shoot out your main phaco incision. Now, here's the Deere Samer technique using two 27 gauge cannulas, trying to tap in the center here and get this graft unrolled. So he's trying that technique, and usually that works pretty well. And getting a little bit of progress, but not enough. And so what's your next move here? So the next move is... Let's flatten the anterior chamber even more. Aspirate fluid out directly. You really get that AC flat. And now manually pushing the graft over. Now that's a technique I've not done before. And I like the way he did that. Now he's not touching the central endothelial layer. He's just touching out there in the periphery. And if you notice how the way the graft was rolled, it was a very safe technique. Now the graft's in pretty good position, nicely centered. Here comes your air bubble. And that air will push it into position. I like to use 16% SF6, and that gives you a little bit more time to hold the graph in place. So thank you for a beautiful case. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. 
who have a complete list of articles and videos, you can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?